Um, another one, Meeting of the Minds. Let's see this clip. Meeting of the Minds. Uh, if I have any more kids, that's what that's what's going to happen. Now that I know what's going on, that's what I'm doing. If I have any more kids, I'm homeschooling for sure. Well, I, got, I, I didn't get an argument. The doctor was cool, but you know, I had a baby girl recently. They were going to get a vaccine. I went, oh, what's that for? It's hepatitis. I said, I don't see any resting nails around here. <laughs> it must be. I know, I know parents, you know, your parent, you have to look after your kid with look after your kid. But it must be so annoying if you're a doctor and you have parents who literally couldn't name a single element on the periodic table telling you how you should do your job. It must be so annoying. It must be. To be, a, to be a doctor and to have a parent tell you, you know, hey, and like question like what you're doing. It's like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, it's like, all right, whatever, I'll give up. Especially nowadays in the post-COVID anti-vax world we live in. It's probably like, all right, whatever. If you don't want the vaccine, cool. But it's like, bro, really? <laughs> you're going to start giving me Joe Rogan talking points. <laughs> I studied this shit for 10 years. I've been practice. I've been fucking working this hospital for five. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, take your hand off my hand and let me fucking inject your baby so that it, you know, it gives it a better chance of fucking staying alive past the age of fucking five. You fucking oaf. It must be so frustrating to be a doctor nowadays because literally, with the access of information, with the likes of Huberman, um, you know, being super popular and all these other doctors online, everyone feeling like they're an autodidact, right? It must be so in. In, in it must be so infuriating to have people that don't know anything that literally can't name a single element on the periodic table telling you that you're wrong like doubting what you <sighs> where's she in hepatitis from why are you giving that to the, she's a newborn no. her immune system should she build her uh, naturally and when she's naturally. older vax, I'm not anti-vax but <laughs> yeah you are <laughs> just say like, here. Why, why be a pussy about anti-vax especially nowadays back in the day you could be a pussy about anti-vax because the consequences were quite grave you'd maybe get deleted from social media you might get deals taken away from you but nowadays it's commonly wild it's a, it's a commonly held um viewpoint that the vaccination for covid was rushed that maybe some of the things that they told us about covid vaccine weren't the truth right they bent the truth in order to get people to kind of take the vaccine quickly cool rusty nails he means tetanus, not hepatitis. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even clock that. 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 Big up Keith Thompson. I didn't even clock that. Let me go back to that. I didn't even clock that. I did not even clock that. I'm not going to lie. He's mush mouth just didn't. I didn't even clock that. Let's yeah, one time. Kids, that's, what, that's what's going to happen. Now that I know what's going on, that's what I'm doing. If I have any more kids, I'm homeschooling for sure. Well, I, got, I, I didn't get an argument. The doctor was cool, but you know, I had a I baby get an girl argument. recently. Yeah, he did. They were going to get a vaccine. I went, oh, what's that for? It's hepatitis. I said, I don't see any resting nails around here. <laughs> this is part of the reason why he's successful, though. I say this. Look at his face. Look at that smug, condescending f look he has on his face. He actually thinks he's right. That's the part of the reason why he's successful. Having self-doubt um having imposter syndrome is really a, a a holdback when you're making content and shit you have to actually believe your bullshit you have to actually live in what you say live your you know i mean you're, you're, you can't understand what i'm saying like the conviction that he has with what he says despite him being completely incorrect is 100 percent part of the reason why he's successful he's so dumb but then he thinks he's incredibly smart that's actually a, a key component of being successful in, in content. Think of anybody that you maybe follow online who's got a big platform or whatever it may be. Most of them are incredibly confident, even when they're fucking wrong. They double down in their wrongness. They're, what's, what's that? What people say on the internet? They're, um, what's that thing called? Um, they're loud and wrong. Wrong and loud. Loud and wrong, wrong and loud. That's what Brendan is. Look at his face. Hepatitis, he's talking about tetanus. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. We got Keith Thompson. Where's she getting hepatitis from? Why are you giving that to? The, she's a newborn. Her immune system. Should she build her uh, naturally? And when she's older, Natu back, I'm not naturally. Back, but right. That'd make more sense. Right. But hepatitis. Where's she getting it from? Right. I don't see. Is there rusty nails in here? Yeah. Rusty nails again. Is there a prostitute in here? <laughs> That's the only way you're getting hepatitis. That makes no sense. Oh wait, no, no, not happening. They're like, all right, you gotta sign this waiver. Well, I'll sign whatever you want. It ain't happening. 
Smart yeah. move, though. Yeah, and he got hepatitis. He he probably got one as well when he was when he was but when he was when when he was born. But now it's like suddenly, oh, I love Brendan, man. I love Brendan. He again. I still have a belief that usually when kids are born in families with redax, they usually turn out pretty well. That's the funny thing. When kids are born in a family full of redax, like the mum and dad are dumb as fuck, right? Dumb as fucking bricks. It usually is the opposite with the kids. They turn out pretty well adjusted and reasonable and chill and smart and level headed. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think the kids are as um are as uh, vulnerable to catching some of the redactiveness that Brendan and his wife has. I think they'll be fine. I honestly think they'll be fine, but God almighty, pray for the kids, bro. Pray for the kids. Pray for all the kids out there. Pray for all the kids out there, mate, because Jesus Christ. Hepatitis. <laughs> Rusty nails. You got to love that guy. Rusty nails. <laughs> anyway, moving on. 